Hello, and welcome back. One of the most important, but often overlooked steps in making wine at home is cleaning and sanitizing the equipment you use. It's often overlooked because it's so much work. Most winemakers would love to avoid this step, but don't. That perfect wine you made today could be ruined with contaminated transfer or storage equipment. In this video, we'll show you what to sanitize and offer some suggestions on how to do it. And the first part's easy. What to sanitize? Everything. Drop the device. Get away from that keyboard. Step outside. Into Shred World. The first part of everything are gloves, hands, countertops, and drying racks. Anything that touches your wine needs to be sanitized. That includes utensils and equipment you're using to crush fruit to obtain juice. If you purchase juice to make wine, you'll still need to sanitize any transfer equipment like funnels and tubing. And if you're crushing fruit, the equipment you use still needs to be rinsed, cleaned, and sanitized. Cleaning materials can be wiped or sprayed on and then rinsed. Take equipment apart to clean those hard to reach spots. After rinsing with water, there are a variety of products that can be used to remove residual particles. Follow the instructions on the package. To mix cleaning and sanitizing powders, fill a container partway with water. Add the proper amount of powder, shake well, add the rest of the water, and shake again. Some sanitizers, like potassium metabisulfite, produce strong odors. Wear a mask, and use some gloves. All winemaking equipment is sanitized the same way. First, rinse well with water to remove any gross debris. Hopefully, you already did this the last time you used the equipment. Then shake, brush, or rub with the cleaner of your choice to remove any residual particles. Then use sanitizing solution to pour into containers, wipe surfaces, or soak equipment. For bottles and containers, pour a small amount of potassium metabisulfite into the vessel. Cover and let set for 10 minutes, and then pour it out and allow it to dry. Before you begin making wine, sanitize your fermentation vessels. Buckets, tanks, and tubs can be wiped barrels and bottles require extra care. To clean bottles, pour in some cleaner, place a stopper in the end, and shake well. If the bottle's too big to lift and shake, there are brushes made for every size. Don't forget to sanitize fermentation locks if you're doing a slow ferment. For barrels, use active oxygen and sodium carbonate based materials like Be Bright, but rinse well. And thoroughly clean and sanitize any utensils you're using to make your wine, including items for tasting and testing. You can use just the fumes from potassium metaphy sulfide solution to sanitize items that can't be wiped or rinsed. Place an open bottle of solution in a large container, add the items, cover, and let set for 10 to 20 minutes. You need to rinse, clean, and sanitize every part of your transfer or racking equipment. To easily clean or sanitize pumps and tubing, place both the inlet and outlet tubing into the solution and then run the pump for 10 minutes. To rinse cleaning solution, 
use a bucket of water. No rinsing is required after using a sulfite sanitizer like potassium metabisulfite. If we're using rigid tubing or auto siphons, they're rinsed, soaked, or exposed to fumes. To clean and sanitize the inside of tubing, we soak it or pump solution through it. To clean and sanitize the outside, we wipe it. When it's time to bottle, don't let your guard down. You need to continue to sanitize everything you use. That includes filtering equipment, racking wands, and the bottles. We use fumes to sanitize the corks. We place an inverted funnel and a small amount of solution into a pitcher. The corks are kept away from the solution by the funnel. And don't forget to sanitize the parts of the corker. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like by hitting the thumbs up button in the panel below. And while you're there, why not subscribe? Salute.